Good afternoon, folks. Welcome to Rugby Park here, Coffs Harbour, Saturday afternoon rugby on the mid north coast. And we've got ourselves an absolutely sensational winter's afternoon. We've just witnessed reserve grade a win to the Grafton Redmen getting up over the reserve grade. But here we have the main event the sausage sandwiches, the steak sandwiches are cooking, the beer and the refreshments are nice and cold. Brian Marshall is uh, controlling this game. And we look to have a, a full contingent of both snappers and uh, Grafton players set for our kickoff on what's probably our uh, game of the week here at Rugby Park. And if you hadn't had a chance to get on down, then please do so. Plenty of game time still to come and you can walk on through the gates and enjoy a fantastic afternoon of rugby. My name is Tim Chapman calling this afternoon's game and we're set for an absolutely beauty. Snappers playing in their 50th anniversary jersey, the gold. Grafton on the left-hand side of your screen in the red and white. Possession at the moment with the Snappers playing some patient rugby. Mitch Walton with the kick through. Unfortunately there it's knocked on, picked up by Grafton. Failed to capitalise on any sort of opportunity there. Marshall has found an infringement and put his arm up. Chance now for the snappers to uh, to set their defence. We go back to the knock-on. Snappers certainly host a, a fantastic day of rugby if you hadn't had a chance to get out. If you're watching today's game on YouTube, on the Snappers YouTube channel, then enjoy it, whether it be now or later. getting some feedback there from our mentor Claire on the mic apparently things are she seems reasonably happy obviously with the game We're still waiting for this scrum to be fed referee Brian Marshall not happy he's looking for perfection to start the game in these scrums both uh, both Forward packs are packing a bit of side. Snappers have folded there. I think he's going to find a pit. Oh, I went off a little bit early. No. We saw on this side of, of the scrum. Snappers prop go down on one knee. While we're waiting for this scrum to get set, uh, let's just have a quick revisit of the uh, other reserve grade games that happened throughout the day. So here at uh, Rugby Park, Grafton got up 34 over the Snappers, 24. And uh, in Kempsey, 43 points over the Port Pirates, 19. So uh, I could see a change in the reserve grade ladder as, as Snappers have dropped that ball. Sorry, Grafton have dropped that ball. A fairly solid game at the moment. No real team capitalising on any real ball. Just some solid early defence from, from Sheedy. Number six there for Snappers. The ball goes high off Grafton. It's going to come down with snow on top. Takes it well. Wrapped up there by McVicker. We're in 14. Ball comes out. John King with the hit up. Hit up. Marshall's in, off the feet was the ruling. It's uh, Hancock 
with the kicking duties for Grafton. And boots that down. So if you're not familiar with the first grade table, Coffs Harbour Snappers are currently sitting on top of the table. 37 points playing today the Grafton who are sitting fourth. So first, first place fourth. Put down there by Grafton. Robinson I think it was and Snappers decide to kick it down the field. A solid chase on, some pressure on. Hancock it was. Sloppy pick up. Snappers put some force over the ball. Jack Anderson there for Grafton. Shearley with the Shearley with the hit, and then it looks like he's managed to, to steal the ball. Thorn in there at eight for the snappers. Again, Hancock chooses to put it high, not long, looking for height. That's a great take there. McVicker, confident. A late hit there by the seven. Lucky to get away with that. And Walton chooses to put it on the foot down the right-hand side, finds some grass. It's going to get the roll as well. It's thrown back in. Snappers winning the ball. Some sloppy play there from Grafton off the Walton kick. Found the grass, throwing back in some uh, crowd asking for a forward pass. But as it was, they were able to put defence on in the ruck, or sorry, some, uh, some strong play in the ruck and have now yielded possession. Throw the ball in. Just, uh, just a little under five metres out fr from their try line. Withers with the take. More a strong ball there. They roll the ball forward. Marshall's looking at the line. And there we have our first try. Waiting to see what the try scorer was. A line out, a solid maul from the snappers. So saw them push easily over the try line. Referee Brian Marshall choosing to have a few words to the Grafton players who decided to open their mouths. Snappers, five points to nil here at Rugby Park. Jonah with the kicking duties for snappers. Lines it up, gives it plenty of height. What do the flags do? They stay down. Five points to nil. Coffs Harbour snappers leading the Grafton Redmen here on the sunny Saturday afternoon, Mid-North Coast Rugby. Thank you very much for joining us all. If you're watching via the Snappers YouTube channel, you're watching uh, the CEX Mid-North Coast uh, Rugby Competition. Hancock set to get us under, underway. He does, puts the ball high, lands in the arms. I think it's Tonks there over on the right-hand side with his ears covered. Oh, 
Hayden Shearley being announced as the try scorer there of the foot snappers first try. Snappers again. Kick that ball down the field. Grafton keeping in, but the flags go up. Probably could have let that ball go there, but Grafton choosing to... Uh, McVicker looking for the quick throw in, but Brian's pulled it back. Not enough numbers. Here we go with all with the throw. Taken nicely by Thorne. Tonks is playing out wide, takes the ball second receiver. Hits the ball up into the line. Good clean out there by the snappers. Grafton have their defensive line set. Ball a little bit slow coming out of the back of that ruck. Hibbard with the strong hit up. Walton with the cut out. McVicker picks it up off his ankles. Grafton are there to take him to the ground. Strong tackle there by Pullis. Again, Tonks shows it. That's Allwood. Just arrived at the club this year, I think. A New England player. Come down to, uh, to teach at one of the local high schools. Found himself a home here at the Coffs Harbour Snappers. Uh, Mitch, again, has certainly got control of the kicking game and has found the sideline and the flag goes up. Control play by the Coffs Harbour Snappers, what we come to expect. That's probably why they sit on top of the table. Grafton at the moment are, are just chasing them around the paddock with, a, with their defence. Allwood with the again the good throw. The ball goes to ground. It's picked up by McVicker. Steps off his right. Taken to ground there by Grafton. Tonks there over the top with the clean out. Mitch with the ball back inside. Strong hit up. Walton with the short pass. Snappers players are calling for it. Number 13, that is. Dylan Bishop looking for the try line. The ball comes out of the back. They spin it to the right. They're still looking for the line and couldn't make it. Some warning signs here for uh, for the Grafton Redmen. The Coffs Harbour Snappers are throwing the ball around at will at the moment, have the weight of possession. Guy Robinson for the Grafton. Picked that ball out of the line out. And again, it's Hancock. Chooses to kick that ball down. Walton takes it though on the full. Doesn't find any grass. It runs around the back there of McVicker. Again, holds the ball out. Chooses to run it into the line himself. D throws the dummy. Defeats plays. Defeats another play. Looks to the try line himself. And he will. That's a fantastic individual try. And he puts the ball down. We saw that coming just a couple of minutes ago. We spoke about the pressure that was mounting on Grafton with Coffs Harbour snappers having all the ball. And there we see that the weight of possession. And they turn it into points and go up to 10 points to nil. Coffs Harbour snappers leading the Grafton Redmen. Should be able to put on a pretty good display of kicking here, Jonah, today. Barely a breath of wind. A couple of steps in. Almost a pitching wedge type approach. Boots that one well and truly over the black dot. Takes the score now. Coffs Harbour Snappers leading the Grafton Redmen. 12 points to nil here at Rugby Park. Hancock retiring to the familiar position where he's going to pick the ball up off the halfway line. 
A big strategy here for them to put the ball high. And they do. Taken by Tonks. Running into a couple of Grafton red men there in the tackle. It comes out the back. Snappers looking for that field position and they found it. The defensive line's there. I think that's Dylan Bishop with that tackle. Helped there by Jonah. Ah, Pullis that was. Lifted his eyes. No, sorry, that was. It was Hara. Lifted his eyes, looked at the defence of the snappers and he put that ball down, giving again Coffs Harbour snappers great field position with the ball. Walton holds the pass up. Spreads it out wide. That's the number 10, I think it is. Rari Green. Tonksy with two hands. Ch chooses to... Oh, it's Pip there. A bit of a loose carry. Hara there for the uh, Grafton Redmond. They're not careful. They're going to get pinned. Grafton now have a chance. Hancock going to kick this ball down. Coffs Harbour Snappers unfortunately down a couple of players this week. A couple serving suspensions. But in 2023, their 50th anniversary year, they've got plenty of talent, plenty of depth as well as that ball goes out, but it's deemed not to be straight by Marshall. Right in line with the camera, that's a pretty easy call. You'll be able to go back on replay and have a look at that one. Bit of a Shane Warne off spin, that one. Spin it out. It now gives Coffs Harbour Snappers the feed. Defensive line for the Grafton Redmen just seeking some confirmation of whether or not they're on. Tell you what, from my line here, I would say they're off. But uh, AR Nikki Black has it under control. Referee Brian Marshall again giving some small smart scrum lessons. He, he wants to see this scrum packed correctly. Good even scrum there by both teams. The ball comes out of the back. The back line play there sees 13. Dylan Bishop runs straight up the middle. He ch held the ball out in front. Probably messed up a bit of a play there, but that's okay. That was great. A, a great hole he found. Brad Thorne up and into the Grafton line. Lockie taking that ball. There's Allwood forward. Lockie picks that ball up. And after pushing that ball out to the right-hand side, Coffs Harbour snappers cross the line for their third try. Takes the score, 17 points to nil. Cameron Sweeney runs the water on. Still waiting to see the number of our try scorer. Number 11, I think it was. Joe Solowali. Seventeen points to nil. The mood amongst the Grafton Redmen has dropped. That was somewhat buoyant in the first couple of minutes, but Coffs Harbour Snappers starting to put a little bit of a lesson. 
in ball movement. And the flag stay down this time. 17 points to nil is our scoreline. Coffs Harbour Snappers winning over the Grafton Redmen. Ball kicked downfield there by Walton. Picked up by Grafton. Throws a dummy, number 15. Fleet of foot, breaks the first tackle, takes the offload. They then put it on the ground. And that's going to go dead. Walton with the kickoff. It's going to find the sideline, and it does. And the flag goes up. They are consulting with Brian Marshall. Hara with the throw in. Snappers try to interrupt it. Hancock with the ball. It's a good clean out there. Anderson, low and strong. It's the first real chance that Grafton have had and straight away Hancock chooses to kick the ball. It comes off uh, Snappers' hands. Thorne picks it up. He's brought to the ground. Snappers are straight up over the top. Tonks with a couple of metres back. That's Withers. That looks like the heartache is on there. The ball goes quickly out to the, this right-hand side. It's green. It's Shealy there with the ball. Tonksy. Snappers push the ball out to the right-hand side here. There's plenty of movements. Probably, probably again, needed to put the ball through the hands, but that's okay. Retains possession. Snappers picks it up. Walton th shapes the pass. It does so now. Snappers take a bit of a reset. Grafton defensive line gets a chance now to also reset. Tonks it is. Tucks the ball under the arm. A very familiar play there from him. Eats up a couple of metres with a short offload. There's another one. This time they look like there's a chance to score and they run it down the right-hand side. Number 13, Dylan Bishop it was that time. Crosses the line. Too easy there for the Coffs Harbour Snappers. 22 points to nil. Not making the conversion any easier for uh, young Jonah.
Snap is choosing to put that one, uh, sorry, successfully kicking that goal. Jonah, 24 points to nil. Hancock, a familiar high, a little deeper. Taken there by Tongson straight away. They put the ball through two sets of hands and choose to kick it back, giving uh, Grafton the possession. It's like an unwanted steak sandwich. Aaron Taylor there for Grafton. It's the second time now he's beat a couple of uh, defenders. King, hitting the ball up. Snappers are contesting there. The number nine, Joke. Anderson there with the, the hit up, although Marshall not happy. He's found an infringement from Grafton holding on to the ball. Sorry about that, folks. Got a chance to have a quick refreshment myself. Take a bite of my steak sandwich. Snappers again on the attack. 24-0 is the score. Grafton would want to be wary here. Some very dangerous signs. Snappers uh, pretty much in full control of the game at the moment. Got a little bit of trouble here for the Coffs Harbour Snappers. Bit of claret. Blood bins the call from the uh, referee in the AR. Number 12, Jonah. Not sure who the replacement kicker is. Walton issuing instructions. I think it's young Ando has come on to the. Uh, instructions being yelled at. The players, Walton at the back for the snappers, captain coach in his first year. Returning home from the northern suburbs. Hancock has the ball here, kicks it high. McVicker takes it successfully, throws it straight back in. Walton in, looking into the sun, chooses to take that ball, tucks it under, under his arm, beats two plays, takes it down the right-hand side. It's going to be brought to the ground. Snappers over the top, cleaning out, and they do so successfully. The nine there. Lockie certainly in control of, uh, of the back of the ruck there. It's Hayden Shearley there with the hit up. Batty again with the ball. Oh, number three's got to be close to offside there. Brad Thorne. Anderson there with the, loses that ball. But the ball goes on the foot and out onto the full. The flag goes up. 24 points to nil. Kosaba snappers. 10 minutes to go in this first half. Have full control of this match. 
Jason Allwood again chooses to throw that ball in. Probably Brad Thorne's the intended target, I'd say, sitting at two, or standing at two. Withers at three. Grafton ready for it as well. Defensive line set. Nice move there by the snappers. Uh, Tonksy with the two-hand take. Defensive line well and truly up. They force that pressure. Tonksy not happy with himself. Grafton looking for a little bit of motivation here. Looking for a chance to put points on. 24 points to nil. Snappers leading the Redmen. Saturday afternoon rugby. We've had a full day here of rugby here at, rug at uh, Rugby Park. Part of the... Uh, CX Mid North Coast competition, also supported by North Coast Lending. It's fantastic to have all those people on board, as well as the local sponsors here from both of these clubs here at Bay Range, longtime supporters of the Coffs Harbour Snappers. There's a ball's fed. Hancock, again familiar, kicking downfield. It sits up for Walton. Takes it and he straight away looks to put the ball on the boot with a huge kick. Probably one of the biggest finders of the day. AR raises the flag. The ball boy puts the ball down. We get Hara. Again, he's going to throw the ball in. Grafton set. It's a good ball in. I think that's Anderson there. No, sorry. It's a substitute player, unnamed. It's a good run forward. That's exactly what they needed. Robinson there, number four for the Grafton Redmen. Joe picks the ball up. Hancock with the cutout ball, way out, left hand side. Running down the left, can't beat the snapper's defense. Has a second effort, has a third effort. The shorter ball. Snap, snapper's defence right up there. I think that was Anderson. Robinson there. Grafton attack a little bit more buoyant here. Now we've got some ball. Pop off the ground there. That was well done. Hari with the ball. Takes the ball into the line. Snapper's defence is holding at the moment. Looking to counter that. Looks like they've seized it. They have. The ball will come out the back to Walton. Puts it on the boot. Looks for the top. It touches the 14s. He's going to have to play it at that. He does. That's Pullis. A good, strong tackle. He looks like he's going to... Oh, referee says that was knocked back. That was seven. Lavery. He's 23 for Grafton's come on. Or already making some good metres. Hancock with the cutout pass. A forward finds himself probably out of position. Dra look to drag him to the sideline. And the AR flag goes up. Got ourselves a, a player down, though, for Grafton. Number two. A little bit of concern in this case here. Hari goes over. We do it in the 
all assistance provided there. Brian Marshall wearing the referee's hat, first aid hat, sideline hat. Any and every hat he, that's needed. The number two for Grafton Redmond. Hari being clapped from the field. Has that left knee heavily strapped. Snappers with the ball in. Not straight, it's the call. You saw the uh, Snappers player there catch it with one hand on the outside. So after that pause of play, Snappers unfortunately lose a little bit of momentum and Grafton now get the ball inside their half. Looking to put some points on the board for the first time. You can see the score, 24 points to nil. And with only six minutes left to go in the first half, those uh, steak sandwiches are certainly looking good for the halftime break. Cold, uh, cold refreshment as well. The canteen here has been going all day selling hot food. That's how they pay me, folks. The nine for Grafton puts the ball in. Snappers have certainly come away. Oh, they put some pressure on in the scrum and they come away with it. Brian Marshall's seen an infringement. He's not happy with something. He's seen a penalty. Raises the hand. And Grafton here have a chance. Hancock is going to move into position. Looking to kick that ball down. Look for the sideline. He does. And Grafton with their first real chance of the match. Let's see how whether or not we can get this uh, snapper's defence to hold. King will now throw the ball into the line out. Bale at the back looks to be lifted, and he is. Accurate throw. Goes to Hancock. He's got players running around him. It's the number 10 there. But unfortunately, he couldn't convert that possession. Rory Green, not happy. Looks to have hurt his back on the outside of the boot, that one. The ball skewed off. Probably didn't go as far as they needed to, but that's all it needed to do was to relieve the pressure. A quick throw in. Grafton are successful in that case. Have picked the ball up. It's at the back of the ruck. Bit of a loose pass there. The 23. It's been solid since coming on. Again, some good metres in the middle of the park. Snappers couldn't bring him to ground straight away. That's Jack Anderson, the number three for Grafton, with again that good strong hit. hit. Hancock turns the ball back inside. So far, they're really not asking too many questions of the snappers' defence. Hancock goes high, goes to the air. Successfully picked up by the number 14. That's Pullis. Puts the ball down. Grafton has scored off the back of a Hancock kick. It's what he's done all afternoon. In that case, the, the ball bounced. Going over the head of Coffs Harbour Snappers. Picked up by number 14, Pullis. Put down for the five points. 24 points to five. Coffs Harbour Snappers leading Grafton Redmond, who have just uh, scored their first try for the match. That's one they certainly needed. Going to half time a little bit more buoyant.
Hancock with the tick kicking duties here as he has done all day. Steps in. Expected to go long and high. Just blaze that one across the post. Five points is all they get. 24 points to five. Hancock will be disappointed. Other games that we have going on around the grounds today. Our Mid-North Coast first grade competition. Hastings leading five points to nil. A buoyant Coffs Harbour snappers come away with the ball there. Referee, you heard his interpretation of the, the call. Still explaining it there to Grafton. And the nine. Batty. It's going to feed the scrum. Instructions there from Brian Marshall. Short arm there, pre-engage was the call. There it is, there's the tap taken by Brad Thorne. He's choosing to run the line, run the ball straight into the defensive line. Grafton are over the top. Again, here they go. Hibbard. Anderson. Follows the ball with the clean out. Brian Marshall has found an infringement. Anderson just seeking some confirmation on what the call is. We heard the siren go in the background. 24 points to five, half time. We'll continue to play though until the referee calls time. I can't imagine Coffs will want to play too much extra defence now that the half-time siren's gone. Throw's going to be right in front of the camera here. Brian Marshall lo looking straight down the gun on the line out. He does. Hancock holds the ball up. Big strong run into the defensive line, the number 20. Smart tackle there. Anderson holds, chooses to go high. A ball potentially forward. There's the knock on. It's regathered there. And we'll get the half-time whistle. So what's been so far a pretty dominant display by the Coffs Harbour snappers at half-time. 24 points to five over the Grafton Redmond.
bring you up to speed here, what's happening around the grounds. Five points to nil, Hastings over the SCU Marlins. 24 points to five here at uh, Rugby Park, down in the southern zone. In the men's division, 24 points to 12. Will Lamba over the old bar. And you know, what's going to be a fantastic clash. Warhope leading 10 points to nil over the Dolphins. So there you have it up and down the mid-north coast. But back here at Rugby Park. Coffs Harbour Snappers, 24 points to five. Grafton with the ball in the red and white. Running on the, uh, the right-hand side of your screen, running to the left. They're looking for a little bit of structure. Players are barking and ordering each other around. A couple of these substitute forwards here for Grafton have come on with a bit of fire and they're certainly uh, causing a dent. Hancock puts that ball high, comes off the side of his boot. Although Brian Marshall's found an offside in, back in the centre of the field. And some sloppy defence there by the Coffs Harbour Snappers has seen them give up possession. And Grafton subsequently now have the chance with the ball. I've been graciously handed a steak sandwich at half time. It's whiffing across the microphone. Grafton now with the opportunity. They're calling for players in the line out, calling for extra players. Anderson there, number three. Marshall not happy with the time it's taken though. There's the line out call. That's a good ball in. Marshall's found an offside. It's number 20. He's had a strong game since coming on. Sorry, I'm not, not familiar with his name. So it's uh, Anderson there, number three. Grafton a Heading back straight back to where they uh, they left us in the first half. That was with the ball having scored a try. That's a good strong run. He's locked and lost that ball. They've continued to pick it up though. Anderson looks to barge his way backwards over the line. Snappers defensive lines hold him. Walton there with him. The ball comes out and Walton. With a relieving kick, drives it downfield. Grafton with a real opportunity there, failed to convert, but put some good uh, some good attack on the defensive line of of the Coffs Harbour Snappers, but it held. Anderson in particular choosing to run the ball solidly straight into that Snappers line. Here we have another line out across on the uh, eastern side of the field. Looking straight down the barrel of the camera. Ball goes in. You get a good view of that. Grafton have put the ball down. R backwards is the call. And Hancock finds the turf. You imagine Walton shapes the kick. Runs around the outside. Beats two players. Runs back through the middle. Then passes it off. Uh, Brad Thorne puts the ball down. Knocks it on. Hands Grafton some easy possession. And Grafton will now have the chance to build on that attack. And straight away, snappers find themselves having to play some defense again. Tell you what, steak sandwich at steak sandwich at the rugby. You can't beat it. Saturday afternoon, I finally succumb to the waff. I 
of the barbecue. Marshall has the scrum set. Snappers with the feed. Batty with the ball out. Walton shapes the kick and he does so. He finds the grass down on this right hand side. The full back there for Grafton hits the ball flying. Shapes the pass. Does so. Not hill is the call there by Brian Marshall. You can hear him yell that out. The ball's slow to come out of that ruck. Gives an opportunity there for the snappers line to to move up, take the take the possession. Tongsi with the kick. Hancock again chooses to go high. Takes that ball beautifully. He's got to stay inside. Bit of a loose pass there. Grafton now have the ball. It's contested there by the 13. Hancock shapes the shapes the kick. Another player down. The player was a little bit scrappy there. Walton asked, coming in with the ball asking questions. Hardacre as well. We got ourselves a uh, player down. I think that's Anderson, number three for the Grafton Red. Uh, sorry, 20. My apologies. Come on with some impact. Grafton looking to make some cons uh, substitutions as well. Time to quickly chew. Couple of substitutions happening there. Got a blood bin change. General reminder to all players that you need to take your substitutions through the ARs. Marshall ruling that uh, I think it was Brad Thorne there in the sloppy play was last to knock the ball on. Handy possession now to Grafton. Snapper's defensive line set. Grafton's attacking the line, they're choosing to play both sides of the scrum. Hancock with his hands on his hips. Looking around, making an assessment. Short arm, engaging too early was the call. Taken by Anderson. Taps it. Takes the ball out to the right-hand side. Loose pass and is picked up by Hardacre. Tonks over the top, protecting well. Anderson. It's Bishop there with the ball. Some solid defence by Grafton. Marshall with a nice clear call. You must remember always a big thank you to our uh, game officials on game day right up and down the Mid-North Coast as well, supplied by the Mid-North Coast Referees Association couple of great uh, ARs supporting Brian Marshall here at this game, our main event of, uh, of the afternoon. The home team crowd gone a bit quiet. The game at a bit of a stalemate. As it comes out of the back again, Hancock chooses to put that ball really high. Walton underneath it, gets his feet set. Always manages to beat one or two. But again, now chooses to kick it himself. And it finds the grass and calls it. Hancock shanks it. It comes up here into our members area at the Coffs Harbour Snappers. There's more banter going up, uh, up here than there is on the field over who missed it. Walton now with the ball. Snappers choose to spread the ball to the left. It's with Bishop. Bishop. 
That's McVicker. That's Chewy. Anderson now with the ball. Oh, unfortunately, the pass goes to ground. And then Grafton returned the favour, but I think you'll find there's no advantage. Twenty-four points to five here at Rugby Park. Coffs Harbour Snappers over the Grafton Redmen. Timmy Anderson looks to be calling for substitutions. Batty's going to feed the ball into the scrum. Walton secretly issuing instructions to Bishop. Referee Brian Marshall giving me ample time here to finish my steak sandwich. Very much appreciated. Thank you, Brian, if you watch this in replay. Having a stellar performance of the whistle here tonight. Batty with the ball. Comes out to Walton. Has to go high. Short ball on to Bishop. His pants go down. Got ourselves a full moon there. Marshall's seen it. Not happy with the ball. I think he's been, uh, been ruled to have passed that forward, that short ball from Walton to Bishop. The play was on there. We saw them working on it prior to the scrum. Looks like uh, Paps has come on there on that left-hand side for the snappers. Walton's dropping back. Some substitutions coming on. Solid push there. Hancock is likely to go to the kick, and he does. Finds the grass, rolls over twice, three times. Picked up there on the fourth bounce by Walton. Chooses to pass the ball to McVicker. Steps taken strongly, though, by the defence. Hardacre, I think that is, with the strong run. Shearley there with the ball now. Goes to ground after being taken by Grafton. That's the other Shealy ball. Hardacre off running. Puts the ball onto the boot. Picked up. Hancock. Kicks it high. Taken by the ball boy and the AR's flag goes up. Correctly ruled to have come off a snapper's hand. The Coffs Harbour snappers and the Grafton Redmen take the opportunity to make some substitutions. A ball goes in. Coughs though, win the line out. Big Tonks decides to tuck the ball under his arm, runs it forward. Batty. Out to Mifika. Short ball. Back to Hardacre. Guilty of the uh, kick through earlier. Again, Batty. All they've got to do is spread the ball out to the right here. Tonks just needs to go pass it through the hands again. Fails to see the men outside him. Walton sees it this time. Oh, Marshall's going to call him back. Not happy where they took the uh, the tap from. Still no points in this second half. 24 points to five. Tries and uh, conversions are a little bit harder to come by. The play's also gotten a little bit sloppy. In the first half, 
We saw the Coffs Harbour Snappers cross for their first try off a similar play with what they got setting up here. Allwoods going to throw the ball in. And it goes long. Coffs Harbour Snappers this time. They spread the ball off the back of that line out. Tonksy back inside. Substitution, big number 16. That's his, that's his first touch since he's came on, and that's a solid hit. Walton steps off the right. It goes to McVicker. That's Bishop looking for the try line. Beats the first tackle. Goes very close to the score in himself. Looks to be held up. I think it's McVicker there. Picked the ball up. Young Stewie's looking to, looking to cross. And there we have it, folks. First try here of the second half. Looks like it's Paps who's put the ball down. He certainly hopped up with the ball. It's come off. Playing out wide. And managed to put the ball down on the left-hand side. This takes our score 29 points to 5. Grafton, after being uh, fairly resilient in the first uh, couple of minutes of this second half, have succumbed to this attacking pressure of the Coffs Harbour Snappers, and they've put a five-point on. And we take a quick look at other games that are happening around the mid-north coast as we wait for our kicker. We look at our uh, first grade games at Kempsey. They're beating currently the Port Macquarie Pirates, 24 points to 15. Well, down at Hastings, SCU Marlins are beating the uh, Pirates, 24 points to 12. Papalato scored that try. Put the ball down on the left-hand side. Walton, I think it is, choosing to kick. Flags go up. Successful. Takes the score. 29 points to five. Coffs Harbour Snappers. What a fantastic afternoon of rugby. Ah, uh, Hancock going to be disappointed with that at not going the distance. You can see the heads go down. Plenty of junior players for the Coffs Harbour Snappers and from both clubs still wandering around here at the fields. Nice little uh, collection of people here still enjoying the game. The Grafton side looks a little bit empty with just uh, a few travelling players. But we're in for an absolute cracking afternoon of, of rugby with Australia playing Argentina. If you haven't ca caught the under-20s action, and then the women also played Canada, unfortunately getting rolled there by Canada quite convincingly in last night's match, the Wallaroos. Our faithful cameraman, Kyle Hands here, questioning my ability to recite scores. Yes, Kyle, Canada got up over Australia, which is unfortunate. Walton here takes the first hand off the scrum, takes the ball to the line. Snappers run it down the right. The covering defence from Grafton has them held up. Although they've got the ball, the 16 comes on the substitution. Sorry, not familiar with his name, though he's been very solid so far. Batty. That's Withers there with the hit up. Again, the ball comes out to the left-hand side. Stewie on the Bishop. Bishop runs hard and fast. He's brought down by Grafton. Over the top with the clean out. Tongsi decides to shape and pass to the right, but then runs himself towards the line. Coffs Harbour Snappers are a chance here of putting in another try on. 31 points to five. Looking to cross, but unfortunately, Brian Marshall here has found a... An infringement. Held up is the call. And so we'll see a, uh, a restart from underneath the Grafton posts. 
at the southern end of uh, Rugby Park. It's a short one. They've decided to go short. It's knocked back and cleaned up there by the snappers. Number seven, I think it is. It's Hibbard. Stewie picks that ball up. They try to strip it, and they do, but he regains it. Looks like he may have got a call there from... Uh, he had got a call from the AR. Carter Hoy coming on. Midway now on this second half. Bringing on some fresh legs. That's a nice position for a team to be able to bring Carter in off the bench midway through the second half for a bit of uh, frontline impact. Lots of old boys here at today's game. Sit up behind me, enjoying the spectacles from uh, atop the members area at Rugby Park here in Coffs Harbour. I believe there was an old boys game earlier between the women's match and the reserve grade. The ball comes out, Hancock. That's all he seems to have done today. It's kicked the ball high, must be a real tactic at the moment. Unfortunately, Chewy puts that ball down. Brian Marshall didn't rule to have been a knock-on. I'd say it must have come off a grafting hand. The AR flag's gone up on that far side. Nikki Black has raised it. So uh, come off the boot there of, of Stewie. And Grafton going to get a chance to throw that ball in. Young King pretty accurate with his throws so far. We see another good throw. And Grafton again. They bring the ball out to this uh, their left-hand side, their right-hand side there. That's a good strong run, but a loose carry picked up by Carter, who gets his first run into the defensive line. Snappers here are looking to build some possession. Stewie gets a bit fancy with the footwork, passes the ball out to the left-hand side. Brad Thorne it is. Again, a loose carry, but a little bit sloppy there. That's twice now. Thorne out there on the left-hand side hasn't... Uh, isn't quite playing as tight as what he used to. Had a fantastic Mid-North Coast uh, representative season up in Tamworth. Again, the Coffs Harbour snappers are making some more substitutions. I think that's Blake Southern, 23, coming on for the snappers. Batty coming off after uh, a good solid game. Thirty-one points to five. Coffs Harbour Snappers winning over or beating currently the Grafton Redmen. Seventeen minutes to go here at Rugby Park. Hancock, Grafton successfully with the ball. Joe with a fantastic covering tackle. Paps it is straight over the top. There's the ball. It's free to pick up, and they do so. Joe picks it up. Looks for Bishop. Knock, knock back is the call. Southern with the ball. Walton. Hardacre. He's played all game so far. He needs to get his legs on the ground. He does. Southern again with that quick ball. Carter Hoy this time. Bumps off the first defensive player. Pushed in the back there by Withers. Rolls the ball over. Walton holds it. Oh, unfortunately, that pass misses the mark. A little bit too low to the bootlaces. And Coffs Harbour snappers have uh, snuffed an opportunity. A quick line out. Grafton now with the ball. A knock on is the call on the back of that ruck. Grafton just a little bit too nervous. Lifted the head, knocked the ball on. Again, let's just quickly revisit around the grounds. Round 11, Mid North Coast competition. Down at Kempsey. Crescent Head, 24 points, 15. Kempsey Cannonballs is currently over the second-placed uh, Port Macquarie Pirates. So uh, possibly leading ourselves to a bit of an upset there that could see Kempsey leapfrog, leapfrog Port Macquarie. 
while uh, down at uh, Vikings, Oxley, Marlins are up over the top of uh, the Hastings so far. 24 points to 14. Sorry, 24 points to 12 as Walton calls players inside him. Bishop, that is strong running, hard running. Picked up by Southern again to Walton. It's McVicker there going to ground. It's the 16. Again, proving his versatility off the bench. Good strong run. Grafton looking to clean out with the counter ruck. Southern has the ball though. Joe fends off with his left, takes it into the line. Stewie manages to hold onto that ball. A late arrival there. That's Jason Allwood. They're calling for the ball out on the left hand side. Withers. Walton. That's Hayden Shearley there now being held up. He's going to have to pass that ball off, and he does. Carter tucks that ball under. Calls for the step from behind me in the members area. Tonksy. He's going to be hard to bring down. That's a good clean put back. Picked up by Southern. He runs down the right-hand side. Looks to go himself. Stewie picks the ball up again. Also looks to go himself. Probably a little bit uh, unsure of what he's going to do with the ball there. Hardacre picks the ball up. Blake Walton. It's going to be wrapped up there by the Grafton defence. They're over the top. They're looking to get possession here. Ah, oh, they do. Some big defence there by Grafton. Well and truly into the second half, and Grafton had to muscle up in defence there, and they did so, keeping the Coffs Harbour snappers out. Now they'll look to take a breather, and uh, Hancock will look to kick that ball downfield. As the sun sets here at Rugby Park, Bay Range, long-time sponsor of uh, Mid-North Coast Rugby, but also Snappers Rugby here on the North Coast. Could be the first time in a couple of years that we uh, we see maybe a, a home final of some sorts here in Coffs Harbour. It's a good ball in there by the six. Has a good throw, Young King. Hancock, again, player of the day, chooses to put that ball high. Usually pretty solid most of the day, Stewie. But in this case here, offside was the call. Hancock finding the metres. Looks like we got a new... Number six, King with the ball. Set to throw it in. Right in front of our camera position here. Marshall not happy. He's found an infringement. We're going to get a scrum. What a fantastic afternoon of rugby here. Coffs Harbour, home of uh, two premier rugby clubs, the SCU Marlins and the Coffs Harbour Snappers. Snappers have certainly got the better of the uh, the game this year in 2023, sitting at the top of the table. Short arm there, Blake Southern takes the tap. Walton holds the ball out. I think that's Shealy. Bishop all lined up there by the Grafton defence and put to the ground, but he holds onto the ball nicely. Southern there at the back of the ruck. That's the other Shearley. That's Tom in this case. Withers there pushes him forward. They then over the top protect that ball. Blake Southern, Walton puts a little tap over the top. Follows it through. He's now on top of the ball. And Marshall puts his hand up. And after the snappers attempted to take a quick tap, Brian Marshall has called them back. And Walton's going to kick that ball downfield.
some quick substitutions being taken by the snappers. Hardacre coming off for his first break of what's been a big game. Club stalwart, volunteer. Allwood with the throw in. Oh, wow, some big contact there. 16. Snappers over the top. I think that's there. Not quite sure who's... Shearley there with the big, big run into the line. Coughs up a snappers over the top. Southern picks the ball up out of the back of the ruck. Walton, ball out wide to Stewie McVicker. Shapes the pass onto Paps. He runs down that left hand side. He's looking for the try line. He's been caught up there by the Grafton defence. It's picked up again by Blake Southern. Picks the ball up off his boot, boot laces. Southern's delivery again. He's on point on the back of that ruck. Shearley. Walton shapes the pass. Oh, if he had, Bishop was through a hole. Grafton defence is strong, but again in from the sides the call. Walton with the quick tap. They look to attack the line here. He's going to go over, and he does so. Putting the ball down, scoring another five points to Coffs Harbour Snappers. Walton with five points, taking the score. 36 points to five, Coffs Harbour Snappers. Leading the Grafton Redmen on this wonderful Saturday afternoon of rugby. Is this 36 or 34? <laughs> They're saying 36. We said 36. Walton, shapes of the conversion. Stabs at it. Looks like it pushes it wide of the posts. Keeps the score at 36 points to five. Seven minutes to go. Coffs Harbour Snappers leading the Grafton Redmen 36 points to five. Hancock again. Set to get itself underway. Goes a little bit deeper this time. Withers takes the ball in two hands. Immediately pushes the ball out to the left-hand side. Stewie. On to Bishop. Shapes the pass initially. Then tucks the ball under his arm. He's got to stay inside the field to play. He does. Paps is over the top. They clean him out quite weaselly. Although there's calls for over in from the side. But uh, pretty fair there in my books. Grafton now have the chance picked up again some sloppy play here in this second half as the game nears an end Brad Thorne busts up beating tacklers carrying Grafton players towards his try line Shearley there with a strong run 17 runs a dummy Walton now with the ball Number 16 goes to the ground. Joe's going to have to get over here. and It does. Walton picks the ball up out of the back of the ruck. Throws a dummy. Takes the run himself. He doesn't get isolated. Good clean out there by the 14. I think that's uh, Stewie. Number 20. And players just need to settle down here. Just worry about the game going on. Cardell Hoy takes the ball through his hand. Shearley's down on the left-hand side. Chooses to run it himself into the Grafton line. Strong. Southern goes digging for the ball in the back of that ruck. That's a good, strong tackle there. Again. Walton, cut out pass onto Joe. What's he do? He's going to run around the outside here. Misses the first tackle. Tries to evade the second one. Almost taken out. That's a good clean out, unfortunately, there. Grafton now have got it. Nobody there to help.
Five minutes to go. The ball comes this way. Walton, captain coach of the Coffs Harbour Snappers, first grade, still uh, yelling instructions from the sideline. Kings had a, a couple of good line-out throws here. Let's see if they can put the, the Grafton Redmen in a solid position. A bit of a contest there at the line-out. Withers comes through and puts defence, uh, puts some uh, pressure on. And referee Brian Marshall puts the arm out, finds an infringement. Shearley coming off. Bloodbin was the call, I believe. Grafton picked the ball up off their bootlaces. Probably lucky to maintain possession here. On the ground. Anderson with the strong run forward. He's done it all day. He's probably played a full game too. Carter Hoy pinned there. Oh, no. Referee's found a knock-on. A call from uh, the AR on that far side on the eastern side. <laughs> Going to hand Snapper's possession with uh, just, under, just under four minutes to go. We're waiting for this scrum to, uh, to get set. And Blake Southern defeated. Let's do a little bit of a score update for those of you that are interested in other grounds that are happening around... The North Coast, or the Mid-North Coast. Marshall's in well and truly. Uh, Brian Marshall controlling that scrum, making sure everybody's safe. So going around the grounds at Kempsey, battle between second and third. Port Macquarie prior to this week sitting in second position. Currently down to Kempsey, 29 points to 25. So that'll see them probably leapfrog Kemp, uh, Port Macquarie. Kempsey will probably shift up into second. And then it's uh, Oxley Oval. SCU Marlins have put 38 points on the uh, Hastings Vikings, 19. We could see a second half of the season resurgence there by the SCU Marlins. See if they can pick themselves up uh, off the uh, off the bottom of the first grade ladder. It's a good chance that win will do that. Impatient with the scrum, Brian Marshall in the end, short armed. Grafton now take a tap. Hancock with the ball takes the ball out out wide to the 15. That's Taylor. Shapes the pass, goes to ground, tries to get up and run again. Good strong run there by the five. It's been quite quiet. Hancock here looking to do something. Goes to the one. That's Reese. Ball comes out of the back. Advantage Grafton is the call there by Brian Marshall. He's found an infringement. The ball goes to ground. Grafton's... Uh, Young Anderson, Hancock directing play. Grafton looking to run their second try in for the match. <laughs> <laughs> 
Grafton still looking for their elusive try. One minute to go here in the second half. They go to their stalwarts, number one, Reese. Big guys played all game. Hancock with the ball back inside. Coffs Harbour snappers. The defence there is holding them. Blake Southern's directing players around. There's the hole. Grafton away to possession. Cross for their second try. 32 seconds to go. 36 points to 10. Conversion to come. Way to possession there and Grafton just too much of it. Started on the left-hand side of the field just a couple of metres out. A couple of penalties, a short arm there by the referee. Saw them retain possession and, and in the end they just pushed the ball out to the right-hand side. You saw Blake Southern for the cost snappers running to the left, try to cover that defensive hole. But in the end he couldn't get there quick enough and Grafton have run their second try in. Hancock's taking over the kicking duties. And the referee's flags goes up. 36 points to 12, folks. There you have it. Rugby Park, round 12. The Mid-North Coast Rugby Competition brought to you by CX Club. North Coast Lending and Ken Tire. A big thank you for joining us here at Bay Range Rugby Park, home of the Coffs Harbour Snappers, where they're beaten the Grafton Redmond, 36 points to 12. Stay tuned. Jump on the Rugby Explorer. Follow Mid North Coast Rugby on our socials. You get all the uh, get all the information about the games, the scores. Follow Facebook for all the uh, the post game information. Congratulations and thank you very much to our officials, our coaches, the fantastic hosts of the Coffs Harbour Snappers, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for joining us and uh, have a great weekend.